Next, look closely at Hercules' belt. You can see that he likes to wear gems, so he has a belt with three gems on it. The number three should make you think of Tri, and the gems should make you think of Geminal. So putting these two ideas together should help you remember that HSV1 remains latent in the trigeminal ganglion. This is an image depicting many of the nerves in the face, and you can see the trigeminal nerves emanating from the trigeminal ganglion, which is right here. As you can see, a ganglion is a cluster of nerve cells, so ganglia are often grossly noticeable as a swelling in a nerve. It's also very high yield for you to know that this is a sensory ganglion. So HSV1 remains latent in the trigeminal ganglion, which is a collection of sensory neurons. All right, now notice that we've added a basset hound to the image. Basset hounds sounds like Bechet syndrome, and should help you remember that HSV1 may precipitate Bechet syndrome. This is a type of vasculitis characterized by genital and oral ulcers, uveitis, and erythema nodosum. Now let's take a close look at Hercules' satchel. Notice that he has brought along some carrots and ginger just in case he gets hungry. Ginger sounds like gingivo which should help you remember that HSV1 can cause gingivostomatitis. This is a condition characterized by ulcers affecting the gingiva and sometimes the surrounding structures, such as the lips and the hard palate. This is an image of gingivostomatitis. As you can see, this patient has an ulcer of the gingiva, as indicated by the circle. The carrots seen coming out of his satchel sound like carido, and should help you remember that HSV1 can cause keratoconjunctivitis. Keratitis just means inflammation of the cornea and conjunctivitis means inflammation of the conjunctiva. So together, keratoconjunctivitis means inflammation of the cornea and the conjunctiva. This is an image of viral keratoconjunctivitis. As you can see, the conjunctiva is clearly inflamed, but the cornea can't be very well visualized unless special dyes are used. So this can be a bit harder to see. Regardless, this patient was confirmed to have viral keratoconjunctivitis. Okay, did you notice that Hercules was lifting up a bloody finger into the air? Well, this is because Zeus sent the snakes to attack him, which did just that. They bit his finger. Now his finger is all bloody, and Hercules is lifting it up into the air in disbelief. In any case, the wound on the finger should make you think of herpetic whitlow, which is a painful dermatological condition associated with HSV1 that affects the fingers. This is an image of herpetic whitlow. As you can see, this patient appears to have several vesicles on an erythematous base that is isolated to the finger, right here. Typically, herpetic whitlow presents as a single vesicle or a cluster of vesicles on the finger as shown in the image.